You will need to remove the rear door panel to access the motor. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with that task. Place the door panel down on a clean, soft surface to protect it and remove the insulation to the point that you can access the door handle hardware. I like to remove the clip for the wiring harness to give more room to work. When you remove the door armrest, red arrow. Carefully pry it off of the door panel, red arrow. Use a T20 torque and remove the three front screws holding the armrest to the panel, red arrows. Disconnect the wiring connection, red arrow, and then remove the eight T20 torque screws holding the rear of the armrest to the door panel. Turn the door panel over and remove the armrest from the panel. Press in on the two clips and slide the window switch out of the handle, red arrows. You are going to push the switch out from the rear and then disconnect the wiring connection, red arrow. There are two other clips on the side of the switch you cannot get to easily. Note that and use care when working the switch out from the armrest. This is where disconnecting the wiring from the mount on the rear gives you more room to work and helps eliminate scratching the door panel. Installation is the reverse of removal. To teach the end positions, reinstall the door panel and start the vehicle. Pull the rocker switch until the window is fully closed. Then pull the switch again and the upper position is stored. Press the rocker switch down until the window is fully opened. Press the switch down again. The position is stored. You can turn the car off. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.